Hi, I'm Tim Dowd here with The Take. Today I'm here with Wayne Fant Sant, illustrator, writer of many, many books over a long career. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about some of your work? Uh, I worked on the, the NOM for Marvel about the Vietnam War for about five years, and I've done a lot of historical stuff, Civil War, War II, uh, a little bit of everything. Um, this came out about a year ago. Dwight Zimmerman here wrote it, and I illustrated it. And we're also working on a book now about Abraham Lincoln, Frederick Douglass, and end of slavery in America. And um, the main project I'm pushing now is this. It's Katusha. You can see her back here, nice and big. Uh, it's about a girl soldier of, uh, on the Russian front in World War II. Uh, the Soviet Union, the Red Army, had about 800,000 women in combat roles. Uh, and uh, she's a tank driver, and eventually, near the end of the war, becomes a tank commander, which is absolutely true. It's uh, thoroughly researched. Uh, I've had a lot of people sign off for it from over there and from over here. And uh, I'm hoping to find a, a home for it this weekend. Is Katusha is, uh, based on a true person, or is it no, a, uh, a the representative? Katusha is a song, a very popular song that everybody knows it. Uh, it was a, a, a Ukrainian love song during World War II, but it was the favorite song of the Red Army during World War II. And uh, everybody over there knows it. I think every rock group over there now has their version. And it's just very popular. If you if you walk up to somebody in the street in the cities of the former Soviet Union and ask them to sing Katusha, they can do it. Now, so I, I based it on that character, that name. Now, I see uh, a lot of your work has built a lot of historical fiction, particularly in times of war, but the uh, the Russian front in World War II is something mm -hmm. in American fiction that is often, uh, with very few exceptions, say, the City of Thieves, Enemy of the Gates, largely yeah. ignored. Um, what what led you to, to pick this as your well, setting? Well, I've always been interested in history, and primarily World War II, because my parents were from that generation. Um, but I, I remember when I was in high school, Enemy of the Gates came out, and... Um, uh, I remember I read a book, Babi Yar, which was about a young man that lived in Kiev during the war. But that was it. Because of the closeness of the Soviet Union, we didn't get their memoirs. But we got all the memoirs of the Germans that fought over there. And in many ways, it kind of, um, the Germans kind of made themselves look like the good guy in that war. But really, in that war, there were no good guys. Stalin was every bit as evil as Hitler. He killed probably more people and more of his own people. And uh, these people had to fight a war in the middle of basically two wars. Mm -hmm. And, um, uh, for instance, uh, if you were a, a Russian soldier and you surrendered to the Germans, when you got home, you were sent to the Gulag in Siberia for about 12 years because you are not allowed to surrender. It was, it was fight or die. And there were no exceptions. Stalin's own, own son died in a situation like that. He surrendered to the Germans. But... Um, it was a hard war. It was a war that for many people never ended. Um, people, there were people in Ukraine fighting for freedom against not only the Germans, but the Russians too. And that war went on until 1955. Also, people don't realize that all the German prisoners captured by the Russians were not released until sometimes 10 years after the war. We, sent, we, we released ours and sent them back to Germany within months. But it was a hard, cruel war. And uh, I, I not only deal with her, but with her family and her friends. And um, um, when she comes home, there's only just a few left. But um, I, it's something that's always fascinated me because that, that was the, that's where the war was fought. To me, that was the, m the main front. The America, as tough as our war was, was basically the sidelines. And I think we lost like, one thirtieth of what the Russians lost. All right, great. Um, really appreciate that. Uh, now I see, what what led you to, you know, in the realm of, of graphic novels of sequential art. Right. Uh, novels. I mean, war pieces, especially historical pieces. They're, it seems very uh, niche. And what what led you to really focus in on? Well, that? I'm I'm from Georgia. <clears throat> I uh, I grew up in the South. The Civil War has always been there. You know because. It's kind of like in Russia, the war was right there in the South. That's where the war was, the Civil War was fought. And uh, I have many ancestors that fought in the Civil War. I have many that died. Uh, there's a grave in Douglas County of uh, my great, 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 great grandmother. And around her are the markers of the 11 grandsons she lost in the war. And 
I, I myself think that slavery and secession was a, a wrong thing to fight for, but they fought because their neighbors fought. And as they told the Union soldiers, we fight because you're down here. And, um, but as I say, more than the Civil War, I mean, to me, history is war. I mean, um, it, it's a part of, of life, unfortunately. Been very few years of peace. Uh, we don't notice what's going on around us, but there's something going on all the time in this world. It's very violent. And, uh, but the main thing about that that interests me as about wars is people that fight them. I mean, normal humans, um, normal characters that are put in uh, extreme situations. And it also, well, to me, it's like a speeding up of time. Things are more intense in war. Um, hate, love, all of those things are stronger, I think, in those situations. Anybody that lived through World War II uh, can, uh, as, as I heard it well described once in a movie, it was the circus of the century. And, uh, as, as, as of course, I've done uh, uh, books on Vietnam and all that. I, I was in the Navy at the time. I didn't go to Vietnam. But I have a lot of close friends that did. And um, one, especially Joe O'Donnell, was in the 173rd Airborne. He um, described it so vividly that they used several of his stories for issues of the NOM. And um, I don't know. I love to talk to veterans. I remember a woman told me one time that I got more out of her husband in one evening than she did 30 years. Wow. Because I know how to talk to them. One thing you never say is, who'd you kill? You never ask that question. That is something that most veterans never, never discuss. And if, if they do too openly, they didn't do it. Ah, uh, uh, or maybe, yeah. I. <laughs> yeah, it's just something they don't talk about. All right, thank you very much. This is Wayne Van Sant. The new book is Katusha. Uh, the book from last year is The Vietnam War, but we're going to be talking a little bit more in detail with that with the writer. Uh, thank you very much for your time you. and your very unique perspective. Thank you very much.